Good morning, guys. Danny here at Partey. So I'm here at the table again, and you know, I'd, as funny as it sounds, when I do a video here, it always feels differently because we spend a lot of time in this room here as a family. But it always feels different because this is kind of where I started the videos back in the day. And uh, I don't know, a little bit of nostalgia for me to be back in this room doing a video. But anyway, I woke up this morning and it was a very interesting Sunday morning. Now, typically on Sunday, I get up, have coffee with my wife. We watch a little of the news and then we love on the fur babies because, you know, they want their time in the morning. Uh, they generally have three times. They want some time in the morning, some time in the afternoon, and then some time in the evening. Um, and then I go outside and I'll catch up on sort of projection news, you know, new videos, new things coming out from other screen companies, stuff like that. Um, and a lot of times I focus most of my attention on the larger screen companies because if you're going to try to stay in the game and make improvements, they're usually the ones to follow. Okay. But this morning I had a ton of emails in my box on the Partey AV site. So, uh, I figured I would address those because some of those, I, I believe the preponderance of them are just honest questions. And, you know, I, I like to, to think, you know, based on the language in the emails, that there's genuine concern out there for Partey, you know, whenever folks reach out and they let us know things that they see going on out there. And so for that, once again, I know I said thank you the other day, but I truly appreciate that, guys, because to me, this is a network. Right. This is a network of people, projection enthusiasts. So I think that that's awesome. And then there was a couple that I had out there that I think it's just some people who really love the, the drama and the soap opera kind of effect. And so it's a way to stir the pot. But they, either way, that's OK, because here's my response <clears throat> here. Parte, we feel like process improvement, product improvement, all of that stuff is part has to be baked into your business. You're constantly looking for ways to improve a product, right? Um, what we've done is move to what I've always followed in any business that I've ever been involved in, and I've been involved in quite a few. Um, but before you roll out a product, you make sure that you've got it optimized the best you can. And, and for me, that's difficult because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And if it doesn't get, sometimes it can be just a very subtle change. But if, I, you know, we don't get there, I won't roll it out. Um, if we get close and it, it does everything it's supposed to do, I just maybe wish it did something else. Then we make a, you know, a decision, basically poll everybody here at the crew, and then we move forward. And I always let my wife have input into that because she's pretty astute in some of these things now that she's been following some of the things that I'm doing. So process improvement, product improvement, they're all positive things, guys. Uh, it, go back to the old Christian adage that iron sharpens iron. So, you know, when people do product improvement, it makes other people, challenges them to, to improve their stuff. And so for us, you know, that's part of the game. Um, you know, at the end of the day, while, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one competition, there's business competition out here. So you just recognize that. That's part of the game. So it's okay. Love that stuff. Okay. Where I would caution, so this is going to be, you know, that being said, quote, <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, be careful that they're really product improvements because some things that I've seen out there are really more craft. Okay. And when I say craft, I mean, akin to stuff that you could go buy over the counter anywhere from, you know, eight to $15 and do for yourself. There are products that you have in your own home that can enhance the brightness of a screen as one specifically that almost every home has that will enhance the brightness of your screen, at least for a short period of time. Um, and it's very inexpensive. Um, I've shared a number of those over the past, um, some things that we've done with some, some rear projection and you know, things that I've, I've shown on some silver screens back in the day. So all that was a while back, but we shared that. 
with the hope of, of helping folks. And I think in many cases we have because we see we received a lot of thank you emails from people saying, you know, thank you for keeping me from spending two or three hundred dollars on something I didn't really need. But my staff has gotten a little more, um, you know, over the course of time, they've gotten a little more apprehensive and have actually asked me in some cases to stop sharing some of that information because what we've noticed is as soon as we share some of that info, someone out there in the YouTube community adds it to their product line and or creates a product off of what we tell them and then they start trying to sell it to people for high dollar amounts. So just be careful of that guys. Um, you know, we're all about honesty and trust here. And so there's a lot of things that I won't share completely over this format that sometimes I'll share in an email if I feel comfortable that the person asking is actually an individual and not, you know, associated in some way with a, with a YouTube mixer. So that being said, there's one specifically I want to highlight. So after the emails, I did go out and check out. So thank you guys. But I did go out and check out Ken Bird's video. And now he, now this is a guy who has been saying all along that his black screen is pretty much the only screen you will ever need to own. It works with long throw. It works with short throw. It works with UST and UST is a cakewalk because you're sitting so close to the screen. And we have educated people time over time. Now keep in mind, this is the company here, us, that introduced the concept of Lux out here on YouTube, got people talking about how much Lux, and because Lux is everything when it comes to the screen, right? When you're talking about daylight uh, projection, Lux is everything. So we introduced that concept as a means of measuring because the only way that you can repeat something that is advanced and be able to assure that time after time after time your your image quality is going to be there and you as a customer to be able to look at true specifications of a screen and understand what the gain of that screen is okay I mean this is what people who do real research on projection screens look for what is the gain of the screen right what does it do what's its performance attributes those are the things that people want to know what lux will it hold up to those kind of things. So we've brought that kind of information into a landscape that was kind of the wild, wild west to some degree. This individual, Ken Bird, is now saying that he's creating a UST screen. Okay, The man who has told you that you didn't need a special UST screen, there was no need for it because USTs were a cakewalk, is now telling you, oh, and this is two days after we uploaded, our UST versus long throw difference. And you can see for yourself, it's a day or two after I uploaded that video that he's come out with this. So this is just another example of sort of the, a single white female approach, you know, and there's a part of me that's flattered to be mimicked, but then, you know, there's part of me that's also has to look and say, these people will lie to you, tell you whatever you want to hear to buy their product. And that's one thing here at Parte we will never do. Process improvement, yes. Product improvement, yes. Lie improvement, nah. We won't go down that path. So check out the latest video for yourself if you want to. It's really horrid really bad hot spot with a 2500 lumen laser, lumen laser projector and he rolls out a UST screen without even doing a display with a UST <laughs> which cracks me up so you want advanced projection screen technology talk to us and we'll be glad to, to answer any questions you have uh, and know that when you get a Parte product it does exactly what we say it'll do to the specifications. All right, you guys have a great Sunday and we'll talk to you later. Bye.